just how much of a challenge was this Ole Miss offense last year for you guys? Uh, you know, they're going to be a good challenge for us for the season. Uh, you know, they do a lot of fastballs, so we got to prepare well for that. Nick Kelly. I don't know if you guys heard the answer to that, but I think it was muted for that. But um, my question is about Matt Corral, the quarterback. Uh, what challenges does he present as a defensive lineman trying to get after him? You know, we got to contain him well, you know, make sure we keep him in a pocket. And just as a defensive line, we got to rush his all. You know, everybody got to get their own gaps. Charlie, do you want to go back and ask your question again? Yeah, I can do that. Uh, I, I think you heard me, but just what kind of challenge was the Ole Miss offense last year overall? Oh, uh, you know, they, they're a very great offensive line overall. Uh, they do a lot of fastball, so we got to prepare well for that, for that all week long. Katie. This is kind of similar to Charlie's question, but Coach Saban just called Ole Miss's offense one of the best in the country. Um, so early in the week of practice as kind of a leader on the defense, you know, how do you – what kind of mentality does the defense have to have going into this week knowing you're facing um, one of the best offenses in the country? Uh, you know, that Bama standard. You know, we got to bring that Bama standard all week long, uh, just get the guys rolling and be ready to play come Saturday. Tony. Yeah, Phil, uh, what is your assessment of the run defense and how much improvement do you guys think you made from Florida to, to, to Southern Miss and then kind of moving forward? You know, I think we made a lot of improvement. You know, it was just getting in on the little things and, you know, locking in and staying focused. Uh, you know, Coach preached on the little things all week long, and we just got to get back to that, you know, and it starts by, you know, understanding the Bama standard, you know, just going out, playing hard, physical for four quarters. Jacob. Phil, I know, know you're leading the team in sacks. You take a lot of pride in that. But when you're going up against a team like uh, Ole Miss, that's you know going to throw the ball a lot, and they've got a, a great quarterback in Matt Corral. Kind of what's your your thought process in attacking uh, that passing scheme with Lane Kiffin? You know, watching a lot of film, just knowing my opponent. You know, getting to know him all week long. You know, seeing what he does and you know, finding out the cranks, the little things that he does wrong so I can attack it well, you know, and add it to my, my playlist for the game. Michael. Yeah, what do you remember about last year's game at Ole Miss? Defensively, it was just kind of back and forth, a shootout. How exhausting was it? What was that game like? You know, it was a good experience for us. You know, I think it was a wake-up calling, you know, for the Alabama team. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, this last year and this this a new season. So uh, we're going to come out there with that Bama mentality this Saturday and, and ready to roll. Steven. Phil, Coach, talk, Coach talked about having that spirit in. You kind of take pride in getting the team hyped up, getting the team energized before the game. Like, what goes into whether you're doing a dance or you're doing something to get the guy's mind right energy-wise? You know, man, that's that's. I think you know, we need somebody on the team to take on that role, and I don't mind doing it. You know, I I enjoy doing it because I know I, I don't got that that much time left in here, so I'm trying to make as much memories that I can. You know, also just being a good leader, you know, bringing that energy to the field, so the guys can get rolling. John. Yeah, Phil, how, how big of a challenge is a guy like Matt Corral who can make all the throws, but he also extends plays and can run, kind of like your own quarterback? You know, just preparing for him all week long, you know. Like I said, we got to contain him well. You know, the D-line and also our linebacker just got to control our gaps, you know, be able to push the pocket, you know, get him uncomfortable. Tony. Yeah, you said last last year's last year, but most of the time you guys are the bulliers, not the bully ease. Is this one kind of personal for y'all uh, after what happened last year? And do you guys kind of have something to prove, I guess? Nah, man, it's just another game on the schedule, man. Uh, and we just going to go out and do what we got to do. Charlie. 
Yeah, Phil, you talked about being a, a leader. How have you seen a guy like Will Anderson kind of start to step into that role of being a leader on the defense? You know, he's been doing very good. Um, Will, you know, he leads, he leads by example. For me, you know, he's not a big talker, but his play, the way he played, man, it, it shows. And I think a lot of guys, you know, want to be just like that. And I think he bring a lot of inju in injury. I said injury? <laughs> in injury. <laughs> I can't get the word out. But um, he brings a lot of excitement to the game, man. And I feed off it just, just as well as the other guys do. Final questions for Fidarian. One more, Joseph. Yeah, could you explain why the fastball offense is so difficult, and you know how how do you get to the quarterback uh, against that that type of offense? Oh, it's really just about slowing them down. You know, we got to get out the field on third downs, and you know we can do that. I think we'll be pretty successful.